Ready, steady, go. Now, forecasting matters. Go to the market, ask some potato businessman that how much money they earn. If they say that they can earn all the time, it's 1,000 means you can say that it's 1,000, 1,000, it's, it's 1 million or whatever it is. They earn first year, second year, third year, and fourth year. And this way, you have a statistics that they're earning 300,000, 300,000, and then 400,000, and then 500,000 or something like this, that you, you have collected this information from the potato businessman, by the way, and you go to the 
the tomato business man, they say we aren't because there is a high demand of tomato and all this is good price, we are all the time, it's equal. It's like 350, 350,000, 350,000, and all the time like this. Now, if I ask you from this, which business you find that you can invest in? And if you do feasibility study like this, the way you are now answering that potato or tomato, tomato or potato, then you will fail and you will subscribe. <laughs> This one is good, this one is good. And if you do the same when you are facing competition, say hello to the Bala Hai, Amarte Hello, Uta Kara, then you will fail. Now the question is that what you will do? You have to calculate N P V. You have to calculate net present value. So any sort of business, that's why I have taken the example of potato and tomato. It is a business in general, garments with the bread, the textile with the bread, the only with the bread. But all the time you have to calculate and PV the business plan job of Jamaga Habe, Shekhane and PV calculate for a data. The result of NPV will tell that whether the business will be physical or not. And we will even get a pair of the country statistics, one of the statistics, 1971 to 2018, we have seen so many uh, journals, articles, research papers, and we found that this business is very useful. You have to prove that this is really feasible. How can, for this, I'm asking you one more question. One more question. This Taka 1000, if you keep in your bank, what will be the interest rate you can earn from the bank? In Akata Taka, pocket will have a ton of business and not in it. It is the bank at Akata Taka, but it's also interest rate. 7%. 7%. Okay. So 7%. Kitchen of the bank is 7%. Yeah. Okay. So the bank is 7%. 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 For this, you need to spend more, another 2%. Yes? And some administrative expenses, some rent. If you need another 2%, and others, because of uncertainty, anything can be added. Another 1%. I have made this 7% to 7, 9, 11, 12%. 12% 12 means what? When you are starting a business, you are spending Taka 1000 for either profit to business, or tomato business, you must earn from this business at the rate of 12%. If you don't earn, then you cannot be able to pay salaries, you cannot be able to pay rent, and you cannot be able to face uncertainty. Just think, if you keep it in the bank, you will have 7%. Or if you borrow this money from the bank, if you borrow these 1000 from the bank, you must return 7%. And you are using this for the business. So only 7% is not your cost. Your cost has some other dimension. What are this? Salaries, wages, rents, and others. So what is your cost of capital? Your cost of capital is 12%. And cost of capital means not this is a cost. This shows that you must earn 12% from your business if you want to reach to <coughs> So you see that without using any formula, without using weighted average cost of capital formula, just using the daily life example, I have calculated cost of capital. Now, when you convert your cash flow to present value, Always your teachers provided you a discovery. And as a business planner, as a business student, you will never get it always ready. Tomato class high, tomato program pushing the other, over discounted. 
And when we graduate, you have to find out how this discovery arises. So this is the discovery. Now when you want to convert these values to the present value, first year 300, second year 300, third year 400, fourth year 500, these all are the future value. But this taka 1000 is present value. This taka 1000 is present value. If you really want to study the feasibility, your own future cash flows must be converted to present value. And how you can convert it? By using the discount rate. This discount rate is your cost of capital. This discount rate is your weighted average cost of capital. This discount rate is harder rate. So there are many names of this discount rate. Now using this, we can convert this. Just see, what can we do for potato? 300 divided by 1 plus 0 0.12 to the power 1. 300 divided by 1.12 to the power 2. 400 divided by 1.12 to the power 3 and 500 divided by 1.12 to the power 4. We have already converted this to present value. This total, if this total is more than 1000, this total is more than 1000, then it's feasible because positive. But you have two projects. Now, you have to accept the one which has more. Again, what we did, we, we, I have shown you, I, I didn't give you a straight rate discount rate. I have already showed how to calculate discount rate. And, and if you are really serious in this session, it will help you in your rest of the life. And if you are not, you will again know for your teachers that the teacher, there is no discount rate. On a discount rate, now delay, what is the discount rate? Discount rate is nine. Discounted to the customer. So I have calculated this differently and that shown you how to convert it is. So now this is your outflow and this is the inflow. Converted this to here and this way I'm not using calculator. If the total of this is more than 1000, then it's feasible. And here also calculate the same way and if this case more than 1000, that is also feasible. Now compare these two, which I give you is best. Now I'm showing you here. Yes, come here. What, what it is? I'm going to show you payback period. Payback period. Payback. Please remember. Payback period. The money you are paying. How many years or how many months will it take to come back the money? Will it take to return the money? Pay back. Once you pay, get back. Pay. Back. Pay. Back. If you pay, how many years will it take to get back your money? If you just remember pay back period, three words. So you are investing, that is your pay. How many years will it take to get back your invested money? That is pay back period. How can we calculate this? You started a business with $7,000 and every year you are earning $2,000, $1,000, $5,000, and $3,000. This will say that $7,000 you have already earned first year $2,000. You have $5,000. Next year $1,000. You have $4,000. Next year, 5,000, you have already covered. So what do you do for every period from here? Okay, what do you do for What will be the payback period? Easier. Initiate, initiate, and then we're going to ask each other that that period will already study for us to put it for you. Here, two books here. Here, three books here. How much do you need? It's not two, it's not three. So simple calculation, if you don't show your business plan, at least it is to be one hour, I calculate for a second on our Jami Jack put it at invest for at a business plan for G. Cost of Botchon Rapi Amar investment there today. Try to put it at the profit in each of the lucky. More jacket to be two tickets at sea. Technical points to the Ramis for it also. So, both show you how to do the Taka for the day. So, how can you calculate this? Number of years before full recovery of original investment, original investment, full recovery of original investment, 
one year original investment of full recovery aggregate got two plus investment remaining to be recaptured remaining got a chilo money 4000 and then cash flow in year of payback for a bottle of cash flow got a thousand and put the value here and you can find the calculation uh, I'm just a policy to other faculty request it and we'll have an example for the year so that you can check it again and again and you find that you can follow this. I'm trying to accumulate my different discussions of slides. Now we see that we can we can consider this method here as well. But we can use this number here as well. What do we do? We can convert these cash flows to present value, and after that we can use the same formula. Same formula. I have formula. It's only same formula. That's all. So the part of the formula is we have used the present value method. We have used a discount rate like this, and we have calculated present value. Go back. You see here cash flow and cumulative cash flow, no discovery. Now, next. Now here cash flow, then present value, then cumulative present value. The formula, next. And this way, you see that? Now what will happen? The change is payback period. So if you consider discounted cash flows, that case is your payback period is changing. I get you know 2 point something, F of Y is a 3.71. And this is the right way to calculate that period. So when you design a business plan, obviously consider this kind of present level. In that to pay you the best after the change. It has the cost of capital people to make our own. So it takes a long time. Next. Hey, what are you talking about? Same example, what we did. I mean, table format to go and see. So, that go, bring the table in. Are it up? It up? Or I just make it. Are it up? Vertical. It up? Or I just don't. What we did? The first year cash flow, second year cash flow, third year cash flow, fourth year cash flow. We converted these to present value. And what is the discount rate here? Discounted is 15 percent. 15 percent. And what is the cash outflow? Seven thousand dollar. And PV is positive. Means your business is feasible. Your business is feasible. Before I enter into the ratio analysis, if you have any question, ask me after this. And if you don't ask, it's still. I will give you a two minutes brainstorming session of three minutes so that you can push your mobile button several times. You can still receive SMS and send SMS. You can hide under the chair, whatever you want. How many minutes? Two minutes is not enough, three minutes. Do everything what you want. Stand up, whatever you want. Start. mobile button I think it's a good one. 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 I think it's